What is up guys, Steve here and welcome to another video. As promised you guys, we're headed to Rock Creek, Montana. Um, the truck's loaded, the trailer is all hooked up. Um, I'm waiting on my buddy Jeff, it's about it's almost 7 o'clock, he should be here any minute and we're gonna hit the road. Um, plan is to get on the interstate, we're not gonna video a whole lot, we're gonna try and cover some ground and drive to Montana. We'll probably see you guys in Missoula, we're gonna try and swing by a fly shop, pick up some flies and get our Montana fishing licenses. Let's hit the road. Stopped by the Grizzly Hack Fly Shop here in Missoula. Picked up some bugs. They took great care of us. And picked up our Montana fishing licenses. So, if you guys are ever in Missoula, you need a good fly shop, I would highly recommend these guys. They always take great care of us. Uh, mostly for flies, we got a few boxes of Golden Stones, some bigger stuff like that, Purple Chubs, and a bunch of Dream Grakes, some PMDs. That's kind of our game plan. What's the plan, guys? We're gonna head to Phillipsburg and get lunch there. Sweet. Get out of Missoula. Hopefully Steve's truck didn't get parked in. <laughs> hey <-o. laughs> Anyone who has ever driven through Montana will understand why they call it the Big Sky Country. Everything here seems bigger and prettier. And the local community is known for their hospitality and exceptional kindness, which we got to experience personally. That afternoon, we arrived at the already familiar log cabin we have stayed at previously. This rustic cabin is located in the rugged Sapphire Mountains and provides beautiful views of the surrounding mountains and the valleys. Surrounded by Douglas firs and lodgepole pine, this forest is also home to a variety of different wildlife. Some of those include bighorn sheep, elk, moose, deer, and black bear, which we actually had the privilege of witnessing the next morning. We spend the rest of that evening soaking in the beauty in the surrounding mountains the Rock Creek has to offer, while enjoying a cold beverage with some great company, in anticipation of what the next day will bring as we start fishing on the river.
gonna be hard. I'm not trying to push you out this way, but it's gonna be hard. Just push it to get in. I don't know. It's a wide run. Go shown! Nice. Nice, Cuddy, dude. I'm just gonna horse him in. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes! Oh, we'll do a double! Yeah! Yeah, son! You guys can see. Beautiful, beautiful Cuddy. First fish of the day. Let's go. Let's go. Good way to start the day. Oh, we're taking him through some white water. Fish on. You did it? He was underwater. I felt, I saw my, I, I was just... That's on your left. Yeah, thank you. Second fish on. Another cutty. Nice. Another fish on, boys. Second fish of the day. Rock Creek 2020. Fish on for Jeff. It's a good fish. Nice. He's a beaut. They show him for Jeff. Can you size to him? It's a cutty. Nice. Not bad fish at all, Jeff. Nice job, dude. That's the one. That's the fish I missed. Yep. Good fish too. Fish on. Yep. Yep. Looks like the same exact fish, dude. Sweet, thank you. Ah, you got off. Huh. You guys can see a little white fish action going on. Fish shown. Oh, he's off. Self-release, perfect. Jeff's hooked up. Yeah, that way was way better. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, got it. Nice. I'll get the net. Nice look, Cuddy. Down. Yeah. He's not in the Thank you. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, nice. I'll hand you the rope when you're ready. 
Looks like a brown to me. Yep. Yeah. Nice run. I'm glad you got a fish on. Jeff's hooked up. Looks like a brown trout, guys. We'll see when they net it. Nicely done. No, nope. no, yeah, it is. Yeah, oh, it is. shit. Yeah, it is. Oh, fuck. Shit. Good. You good, Jeffy? <laughs> <laughs> go for that one? Uh, kind of I think it was on. It was on. We're good. Yeah, I'll get out and help you, right? These guys probably sit out on the front porch and just laugh at people. Though. Yeah. Definitely interesting take. That was fun. Yeah. I kind of figured that would happen with me. So we'll look at the water here, yeah. Alright, quick little. Probably yeah. shouldn't do that tomorrow. <laughs> Good trip, boys. <laughs> well you guys, we had a pretty killer day out in the water. It was absolutely beautiful out here. One thing I can say for sure is the fishing hasn't been as good as we have seen previous years. So I can't say it was fantastic, but it's still pretty damn well. Each one of us caught five to eight fish, so it was a pretty good day. Um, overall, I think part of the problem is the river is just cruising right now. The river is running at about 2,000 CFS right now, which is quite big for the for Rock Creek generally. Um, we like to usually fish around 1,500 to 1,700 is kind of the prime conditions around here usually. So it's definitely a lot faster than we're used to. Um, we're just cruising a lot by a lot of those holes. And another thing is the salmon fly hatch is definitely over. Um, we're about a week or two later than we usually like to come out here. And we're not seeing any big bugs out in the water. Um, what worked well for us today is kind of a variety of flies. We didn't have anything specific that worked really well. Some of the flies that were working well for us are golden stones, um, kind of larger ones, but not too big. So about size, size 10, 12, um, sometimes a little bit bigger. Um, we picked up a few fish and some um, green drakes. We picked up a few fish and some regular caddis flies and nothing really stood out. It was kind of weird. It was almost more like uh, mornings were better on uh, midday definitely kind of shuts down and an evening kind of picked up again So overall we cut a couple cutthroat. We got a couple nice brown trout We lost a couple really good brown trout, but that's just the way fishing goes sometimes overall is a great day um, We're gonna go ahead and fill up the barbecue right now and cook some steak So kind of a great way to finish up the evening, but overall you guys is just absolutely gorgeous out here It's so nice to just get away from service for a couple of days and just come out here and enjoy the outdoors Another thing we saw from a boat today is we actually saw mama boos with a baby moose um, right by shore. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get that grill fired up. Let's cook a couple of steaks because we're all really hungry. Did you guys have a good day out on the water? We did have a great day. We on had the an water. excellent day on the water. And then we even caught a bull trout. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't, we didn't catch a bull trout. That's a lie. That is a lie. How big was he, Ryan? 48 inches, I think, is what we determined. I thought you said it was 38 earlier. Oh, uh, it got bigger. <laughs> Obviously, it's been an hour, so of course the fake fish that we caught got bigger. Oh, Ryan here. Uh, today, we floated Rock Creek 
up we started up at the forks which is as high as I've ever gone uh, it was super braided we went through some very tight spaces and only had to carry the raft upstream once obviously a win <laughs> we only made one wrong turn guys <laughs> caught some fish no it was a good day it was a good day fish were caught couple wrong turns <laughs> but we're here really only one wrong turn but what we did discover it's actually really easy to do a u-turn in a raft and you can go up river very efficiently <laughs> We spent the rest of the evening soaking up what was left of the sun and trying to take in all the beauty of the surrounding mountains, talking about all the what-ifs of the fish we missed. There is something so beautiful and calming about the simplicity of being out here that is calling out to those who will listen. Simplicity invites us to recognize things we value most. It allows us to remove all the noise and distraction that keep us from enjoying life to the fullest. When one comes out here and is one with nature, we stop chasing the world's definition of happiness and recognize it's been right here in front of us the whole time. And that's the true reason behind this adventure. <laughs>